now class first put what is that synchronized instance methods synchronized public void m1 having argument as what second meaning is what i am going to pass the second instance so at runtime what it will be like second okay second okay let it be i'll show that one later to you and print some statements to the console okay what is that first m1 method okay let it be any method and after that i'm going to call okay let it be we have to write some piece of code here i'll write that one later okay after that take one more synchronized method within this class synchronized public white m2 method okay and let it be dummy implementation in it okay now let us end the first class okay let it be now let me take what class second okay let me take what class second this one within the class second how many synchronized methods should be there two synchronized method with name as what m3 and m4 m3 method is having argument as what first okay try to understand okay now take one synchronized okay synchronized public white m3 okay take an argument as what first f okay within this method write the implementation as what this is what second second m3 okay second m3 method okay second m3 method within this method on i have to write some piece of code here okay i'll write that one and this one here only okay now let me close this particular m3 method okay now take synchronized synchronized that is public wide m4 method okay public wide m4 method let it have dummy implementation nothing and let us close the class which is called second okay till that we have developed the skeleton now let us go for the main logic okay now within this what i have to do on this instance i have to call what okay before that i am going to create uh, two static uh, I didn't. I mean, two static identifiers. I have type first and second. How? Why I want to write that one? Let you know. Okay. Now see here. If I create first f is equals to a new first here. Okay. And if I do create second s is equals to that is second instance. Okay. Second instance. Try to focus this one. Okay. Now. now who is executing these two things main thread right so because of these two i mean because of these two instructions uh, this one this one has been happened but my main intention is what simultaneously two threads has to execute uh, the methods which are available in first class i mean first class instance and in second class instance that is first class object and second class object so what i require to do here it is so simple so if i call what is that f dot f dot what is that in first class we are having m1 method right m1 of just pass as an argument which thing yes right so okay done you have done but i want to execute this one by two threads so first i have to start the thread right and that thread has to execute so now think that i have put here of course i am going to change this piece of code just to make you guys to make you guys aware of that scenario i am writing this, like this okay now let me let me start the thread what is that new deadlock deadlock start okay start what is this public void run method okay now see a thread has been started now tell me one thing here we are having run class i mean run method implementation here it ends the deadlock situation okay now see here this thread think that this is what main thread main thread as what here thread one just for instance but in real it is not okay in real it is not but to make you guys understand i am just taking that one okay now see it has to call okay now our main thread has to call on second instance m3 method okay and simultaneously our thread zero has to call m1 method of first instance how how it is going to get possible how what is the chance here you are a programmer we are having this syntax if i put that piece of code the jvm is going to understand that one how i am going to achieve that one is very important so if i do write like this no we cannot achieve that one so what is the next way it is so simple it is so simple please make this first and second as what static so that i can access that particular thing here and also here okay now try to observe here i am going to put as what static first f okay another one is what 
static second yes okay now what is going to get happen here of course because of this statement uh, what is going to now main thread is creating those instances but those two references are at class level as static be, if it is like static means uh, that particular static identifiers will be applicable for each and every instance and of course you can do access that one within this instance area also without any restrictions right now these two reference are which at, at which area at method level area or context level area okay that's very very important to us okay now now see here f dot m1 of s it is fine it is fine you have done the good job and now now the new thread has been started now it will come here now in the meanwhile i have to start that thread zero i mean i have to call okay let it be i i, I mean i will call as part of that one only okay i'll take here as what s dot i'll take here as what s dot s dot m3 of f okay in the meanwhile i'm just passing the instance if you do pass an instance don't think that it will acquire the lock no 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 whenever there is a synchronized instance method then only the thread will acquire the lock until that it will not acquire the lock that's why i have written this statement thread zero will i mean it has to acquire the lock but that lock has been acquired by other thread so thread zero is going to get wait until that thread releases the lock getting that's very very important okay now s dot m3 of f i am passing this instance for this one so what is that s dot f so now here how the statement will be as what f s is equals i mean f first f is equals to new first okay now that is the meaning of this one okay now on that instance i mean on that instance i am calling f dot f dot of what m which is the synchronized method now it will wait because a first lock has been acquired by this particular thing still i didn't write that one how to write that one see here still that one not get happened in the meanwhile it is executing see here it is executing here okay still this one not yet happened now the threat has come it has executed to the console this particular piece of code to us now in the meanwhile we have started the threat it is going to it is going to acquire the lock in order to execute the first class m1 method okay and this is what lock okay lock now what i'm going to do here on on f dot m1 of s in the first instance i mean in first class we are having m1 method right first class we are having m1 method that is saying the argument as what s so here second s is equals to what new second like this it will be there on this instance i am going to call what now see here now what is going to get happen in the meanwhile this will get print this one okay now think that this thread has come here it is going to execute on f dot m2 method now where is the now what is the m2 method m2 method is what synchronized instance method in order to execute that method the thread has to acquire the lock then only jvm will allow that particular method to execute that one everything is imaginary you have to be very specific this internal implementation has been done by our jvm in c programming language that's why we are shouting here to make you guys understand imaginary you cannot catch that one you have to be well focused then only you can get all these things okay now so whenever it is executing this one in the meanwhile this thread will come what it is going to do on s dot s dot m for method it will call okay now it has to now it ha m4 is what synchronized method so in order to execute the synchronized method it has to acquire the lock of what that second instance but second instance lock has been acquired sorry m4 method is dot m4 okay where with whom that uh, m4 i mean by this particular i mean this thread has acquired the second instance that is main thread that is here this main thread has acquired the lock of that particular instance so both are waiting for infinite period of time so that we are having which one here infinite period of waiting time so that we are having deadlock situation the same piece of code i am going to explain to you nothing great here nothing change here okay we are going to see the deadlock situation but try to understand this memory representation if you understand the memory representation whatever the programming language it is you can feel very comfort in it okay that is the trick to learn anything okay now Yes, friends. The same piece of code, whatever I have written over board, the same piece of code. If there is any change, definitely there will be in the change of modifiers only. Nothing great in this piece of code. Whatever I have written over board, the same piece of code, and uh, 
nothing changed you can just check even the identifiers also almost all everything is same okay now class names are also same now let me go and uh, compile this piece of code okay what is that java c deadlock okay of course compile successfully now let me go and run this one okay see here please try to focus look at the screen carefully guys you can just check it here m1 and m1 method of first i mean m1 method of first and m3 method of second you can just observe here this has been executed first m1 method and what is this second m3 method and both the threads are waiting to i mean both the threads are waiting for the locks in order to execute the remaining part of their implementations but in order to execute those implementations that is those methods they require the lock why because they are synchronized instance methods both the threads are i mean unknowingly they are waiting for infinite period of time that's why we are getting deadlock situation by using synchronized keyword by using join keyword it is so simple and child reference uh, i mean if thread is calling a uh, join method and child reference and uh, child thread is calling a uh, join method and uh, parent reference it will be giving what deadlock situation but here it is i uh, mean uh, somewhat a critical thing if you are good in this memory representation and how to write this piece of code it is so simple don't mug up the code please my sincere request is to you please try to understand if you are not getting just do it once again or if you are not getting let me know definitely i'll help you guys okay please now now this is what deadlock situation still it is like this only it didn't get terminate if you go and uh, i mean if you come and see this one after one hour also it will be like that only now let me terminate i'm just pressing control c okay it has been terminated now just for your sake once again i come i mean run executed it is in deadlock situation only why because of this synchronized because of this synchronized keyword which is there in our first class and which is there in our second class okay this is synchronized keyword two times in first class and also in the second class okay and here also one more synchronized keyword okay